Dear friends, I'm talking to you from Palm Springs where I'm here at the National Jewish Retreat from the JLI with tens of rabbis giving many, many classes to the well over a thousand people who have come to spend five days immersed in Torah, learning and living. This week we read the portion of Akev where God says, Vahaya Akev Tishmun, it will be when you will listen to my laws and God promised us many great blessings that will occur when we follow his laws. And the rabbis point out that the word Akev, when you will listen also is similar to the word Akev, which is heal. And just like the heel, which is at the bottom of the person's body, where the life vitality is much less, where the sensitivity of a person is much less, so too the Torah is telling us that not only God is imploring us to follow His laws, but the key to a powerful relationship with God and having Judaism in our lives is paying attention to the laws that are like the heel, the things that we feel are unimportant. And just like in a relationship between a husband and wife, if one spouse tells the other, the things that are important to me, I will take care of you. But the things that to me seem unimportant, even though to you they're important, Bob, don't bother me, I don't want to be involved. What kind of relationship will that lead to? So too it is with God. God says the little things that sometimes seem boring and insignificant to you, that is where the relationship between us will flower. My following goes, I know that you're into it because of me and with me. And just like it is in life, it's all in the details. The architect's plans are special when every detail is followed. So too it is with Torah. And if we pay attention to the little things, or sometimes we just do little acts, they are very significant. That's what God asks from us. Do little things. Don't think only of the big things, the Yom Kippurs, the Seders, and big events. But think of the little things you can do on a regular basis. And then you start forming a true relationship, a true mosaic of Jewish life. And the true puzzle of Judaism comes together. And I want to wish you all the courage and the strength to pay attention to some of those little things. Start incorporating them in your life, a little mitzvah, a little custom, and you will see how it will change your relationship to yourself, your Judaism, and to God. And with that, I want to wish you all a Shabbat Shalom. My blessings to you all. I love you all. And may God give you everything you need in your life. Shabbat, candlelighting time in Montreal this week is 7.50 p.m.